Parking at the University of Montana can be a challenge, but recent changes may make it even more of a headache for former employees losing their free parking privilege. NBC Montana's Jacob Owens spoke to a former staff member and university officials to make sense of it all. When Dan Corti, UM's former Executive Director of Environmental Health and Risk Management, learned that he and roughly 300 other lifetime retirees would no longer have free campus parking, he reached out to NBC Montana to help him get some answers. You kind of feel like, oh gosh, you're really valuable until you quit or retire, at which point, please don't darken our parking lots with your presence anymore. Corti says he goes to campus four to six days a week to work out. The loss of free parking for lifetime retirees who worked at UM for at least 15 years is among several parking changes planned at UM next fall. Changes include dropping the hourly parking rate from $1.75 to $1 an hour. Additionally, the university is capping the sale of parking passes to 130% of the parking capacity. Dave Koontz, the university's director of strategic communications, said the parking changes are student-centered and designed to free up more spots on campus. Koontz acknowledged that retirees are not on campus every day, but said even a few dozen more open spots at a time can help with parking. For long-time retirees, they would lose this perk, but why not grandfather those that already have it into the new system? Ultimately, our supply and demand has gotten really imbalanced in terms of parking. You know, we're about to enter our fifth semester of incoming student growth. We have the major infrastructure parking, um, the major infrastructure projects going on, on on campus, many of them in these parking lots. And so we just no longer were at the ability to have the luxury to be able to have these 300 uh, subsidized permits out into the marketplace. Bill Donovan, director of parking services at the University of Montana, said the parking policies were developed considering all the different constituents. So we had to figure out how many of them are parking, for how long are they parking, and then we have to develop our policy around that. Koontz confirmed to NBC Montana that while university leadership made the decision, neither the Alumni Association nor the Retirees Association were consulted as they are not part of the university's cabinet-level leadership team. For Corti, his parking options will soon be limited as retirees will be unable to purchase a parking pass in addition to the free one they'll lose. Lifetime retirees have the option to pay hourly, buy the day for $8, or use the university's quick stop spots. Corti estimates paying by the hour would cost him $500 a year. He says if that's his only option, he will likely find another gym and possibly leave the Alumni Association. I'm waiting to see if uh, somebody comes to their senses about this parking issue. Reporting in Missoula, Jacob Owens, NBC, Montana.